There's one thing that's actually been improved in 5.2 that I really, really appreciate, and I wish 5.1 had that. So WASD will do the walking around navigation while you click the right mouse button. So right mouse button lets you look around. Left mouse button lets you look left and right and go forward and back. It's a little janky and I don't really tend to use that. So I always hold down the mouse button, the right mouse button, and then do W, A, S, and D. But sometimes as you get further away from your scene, you want to navigate a little faster. And as you get to detail work, you want to navigate a little bit slower. And you can do that while moving around, by scrolling down your mouse wheel. And have a look at this number up here. You used to be able to click into that and then give it numbers, but you can also scroll down your mouse wheel to make that faster or slower. So scrolling it down makes it slower, scrolling it up makes it faster. So, you know, that's just sometimes really confusing to, um, you know, how to, how to make that as slow as possible as you get into the area that you want to navigate around. And they've now introduced this feature that while you scroll, you actually see the numeric value of how fast your scroll speed multiplier is. And so that's I find that very helpful because in 5.1, it was always a bit of a guessing game where you didn't quite know how fast you were going until you really tried it out and usually missed the mark and stuff. So yes, have keep an eye on for that value as you move around, then you know how far you need to scroll forward and back. And there's one other thing that is good to know about as you work with larger scenes. Sometimes you select an object that's relatively small, like the cube, and then other times you select an object that's relatively large, like a whole rock wall, like 50 feet tall. And Unreal Engine has an option that lets you choose the scroll speed depending on the size of the object. And that is, of course, disabled by default. And that makes it really easy if you jump from small objects to large objects so that you don't constantly have to mess with that multiply here. And that's under Edit editor preferences. That's not the project preferences, editor preferences. And then over here, I think under viewports, under level editor viewports, there's something, and I always have to see where that is. I think, is it, is it advanced here? Yes, it's the distance, use distance scaled camera speed. If you enable that, then it'll base it on the size of the object. So that's, that's kind of nice. 